Hey guys, it's Rich with your Monday Spot in the Pagan Perspective. Uh, if the camera is shaky, I'm sorry. I have to do this on my selfie stick with my phone because I kind of lost my SD card temporarily. And uh, yeah, so anyway, this week's question, I'm sorry about the shakiness, but this week's question comes from Yaka and it's about thoughts on the parallels between different religions, holidays, and pagan holidays, such as like Samhain, Halloween, um, Christmas and Yule, stuff like that. So anyway, I did a video on my personal channel, and you can go ahead and check that out. But basically in that one, I was kind of ranting about uh, how everybody tries to take ownership over one holiday or another, rather than just seeing what I see and what some others out there also I know see, is the underlying uh, themes within those holidays. Uh, we talked about Advent a couple weeks ago, what, last month? And the parallels between the hope, love, peace, stuff like that, that's focused on during Advent. And that's kind of the same thing that applies to most holidays. I like to see the underlying themes that happen within these holidays that other religions celebrate because a lot of them have common uh, underlying themes that are fairly interesting and fairly universal. Some of them have really uh, strict guidelines such as coming up is Lent and if you're Catholic you have the guidelines of no meats except uh, or no meat on Fridays um, and some sort of fasting and stuff like that. So you have certain criteria depending on the religious um, criteria that you follow. Or you just say, screw it, I'm not doing that, and you just move on. So anyway, I, I like to look at those underlying themes if they're there, when they're there. They're, they're, I think, always there. So I like to find those underlying themes and focus on those rather than focusing on one day or one aspect, whether it's fasting or if it's, uh, you know, just that one moment of, you know, a birth of a child 2,000 some odd years ago. And I, I like to look at the underlying themes of what's being brought, such as an easy one for me to draw the parallels of is with Christmas and Yule. You have the coming sun and the coming sun. So I like to focus on those. The the birth of longer days starting uh, the day after Yule and the birth of a savior for an entire religion. So I, I like to focus on those underlying themes, the bringing in of new light, new thought, new ideas, um, new ways of of thinking and being in the presence of that um, that type of society or that type of uh, social structure that you're in. I like to see those underlying themes. So for me, that's really my thoughts on pagan holidays and holidays of other religions. Um, I don't think I have much more to say on the, the entire topic, and my hand's getting kind of uh, tired from holding up the selfie stick. So yeah, I kind of have to get a mastery of the selfie stick. I rarely use it. So yeah, anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful. And uh, yeah, I think that's uh, about all I have to say. As far as Halloween and Samhain, which is another big one, I see the underlying um, themes of the ancestors or the ones who have passed on and, and remembering them in a uh, in an honoring way that that's a big one so that's probably the biggest one for me um, but yeah anyway I'm just rambling now so with all that being said may you guys have love hugs and ladybugs bye bye